At Hampton Park tonight, Scotland find themselves staring down the barrel of a make-or-break fixture in the UEFA Nations League. Three matches, three defeats, and the threat of relegation from League A looms large. Desperation is setting in for the Scots, and with just two games left to salvage their campaign, they must find a way to stop the rot starting here against Portugal. The Portuguese have swept aside all before them in Group 1, winning each of their three games with a sense of inevitability. Roberto Martinez's men arrive in Glasgow with the wind in their sails, knowing that victory this evening will secure their spot in the quarterfinals. Ruthless in their last outing against Poland, they were equally dominant when these sides met in Lisbon, dismantling the Scots 2-1. Tonight, though, the challenge for Scotland is clear. Hampton Park must become a fortress and their performance must rise to the occasion. For Steve Clark, it's about finding resilience in the face of adversity and summoning the spirit that so often defines Scottish football. But this is a Portuguese side blessed with class and clinical precision capable of exploiting even the slightest weakness. The draw between Portugal and Scotland on match day 4 of the UEFA Nations League League A, Group 1, left both sides reflecting on what could have been. For Portugal, the result was a missed opportunity to solidify their position at the top of the group, but it also showed their resilience in a tightly contested battle. Although they dominated large portions of the match, their inability to convert more chances left them frustrated. This draw keeps their qualification hopes alive, but they now face added pressure to deliver in the upcoming matches. With plenty of talent in their ranks, Portugal remains a formidable force, but the result highlighted that nothing can be taken for granted at this level. For Scotland, the draw was a hard-earned point against a powerhouse team like Portugal. Coming into the match as underdogs, they showed incredible grit and discipline to hold off Portugal's relentless attacks. Defensively solid and tactically sound, Scotland frustrated their opponents and found key moments to break forward. This result is a positive step in their Nations League campaign, proving they can compete with the best on the European stage. While the road ahead remains challenging, the draw will boost Scotland's confidence as they continue their fight to remain in League A and build on their recent resurgence. In the grander context, this draw adds a layer of intrigue to the group. Portugal, who were expected to secure all three points, now have to navigate their remaining fixtures carefully to ensure they reach the finals. Scotland, meanwhile, will take heart from this performance, knowing that their resilience can keep them in contention. The group remains finely poised, with both teams still vying for their place at the top of European football.